Colin? Uncle Colin! Wake up! Uncle won't wake up. Looks like he's having that nightmare again. Right? I've been trying to wake you up for so long. Alice, I had that nightmare again. Some woman is calling me. She needs my help. Her face seems familiar, but my mind's hazy. Alice, I didn't mention it earlier, but I recall almost nothing from my past. When you were a little baby, I was one of those unlucky people who were captured by the darkness. The people in Clifftown brought me back to life, but I don't recall anything prior to that time. Look, we need to leave the Forbidden City. But you said that darkness wouldn't come here, and we'd be safe. We can't be safe anywhere, and I'm worried that the Sacuums will learn about your bird of fire. And then, most likely, they'd take you away to do some research. I need to remember my past. In the desert, near the southern oasis, lives a hermit. He's a healer, and he preserves the ancient wisdom. Let's go see him. What if the hermit can help me remember? It's so empty here. Alice, let's look for a means of transport to get to the southern oasis. Look, Alice, a vehicle of the ancients. The Sacuums figured out its mechanism. We'll use it to get to the southern oasis quickly. Get into the car. I'll show you how it works. I lived a simple life with my father on our farm. One day I found a strange little box holding an egg in the river. A bird of fire hatched from it and flew into my body, leaving a burn mark on my arm. I told my father right away, and he said that nothing good would come out of this. Alas, he was right. Soon after the event, some unfamiliar soldiers came after me. 
Father managed to save me, but he paid for it with his life. I was forced to leave my home and go to my only kin. Colin, my uncle on my mother's side. I had no idea he existed until this tragedy befell me. Colin and I left the B.O. Glen Valley. On our way, we came across a dark knight who summoned darkness to kill me. All of a sudden, a strange thing happened. The bird of fire swooshed out of the image on my arm and saved us. We managed to hide in the cliff town where the Sacumes live. Still, the darkness kept approaching. One of its castles was situated on the border of the Fertile Lands, threatening all living beings. Yet again, owing to the bird of fire and the unique nature of its flames, we managed to destroy the castle. We've won another battle, but the darkness has not been beaten. Now I am certain it has been pursuing me because of the bird of fire in my arm. As long as we know so little about its flames, we must remain extremely careful. The hermit's hot. I hope he's... Hmm. Colin, the door's locked from the inside. Why isn't anyone opening? Oh no. Poor guy was stung by a scorpion, but he's still breathing. He needs an antidote quickly. Looks like he started to make the antidote, but failed to complete it. Hey, here's the recipe. That will make things easier. This device is a growth accelerator. Here we can grow the fruit of a carnivorous flower, which we need for our antidote. We just need to find a seed. There's a ship of the ancients just ahead. Nobody knows how it turned up in the desert. 
It's possible there used to be a... We need the root of a special herb for the antidote. It's native to this area, but it grows in such a way that no two plants ever grow next to each other. Everything's just falling apart from old age. We'd better be careful. I think we might find something useful for the antidote here.
Welcome, strangers. Maybe you could tell me what's going on here? When we came in, you were lying here unconscious. We noticed the scorpion sting and rushed to complete the antidote you started to make. My name is Steve, by the way. What brings you here? I'm Colin, and this is Alice, my niece. We were told you know some ancient wisdom in our healer. Is that true? Maybe you can help us. What can I do for you? Long ago, I was struck by the darkness. Luckily, I survived. But after my recovery, I remembered almost nothing. I was hoping you could bring back my memory. Maybe the ancients knew some tricks? Well, I'll be frank. I can't help you, Colin. Darkness and its consequences aren't like a disease. It's completely different. Ancient medicine will be of no use. But I heard of a certain stone in the temple in the Eternal Ice, not far from Bear Mountain. Just touching the stone is enough for a man to be healed of any ailment or spell. I've never visited those places, but I suggest you go there and take a chance. Well then, Steve, thank you. Get better soon. Off we go, Alice. How about you drive, Alice? I'll teach you how. It's quite simple, actually. Alice, are you all right? Hurry, let's hide in these mountains. The darkness might return. <laughs> 